All right, so we're going to check out um, a review after the tools have been in the field. And uh, I just want to go over why I picked this DeWalt set and how it's worked for me. Uh, when I was looking for these tools, I wanted tools that I could have lots of options with. So we wanted the Sawzall, uh, you know, an impact driver, a large regular impact driver, um, or an impact gun, and then an impact driver. And uh, one of the things that DeWalt had that really nobody else had was this vacuum. Uh, this vacuum was really cool. I think still to this day, this is the only vacuum, uh, the, cord the cordless vacuum that'll run on a cord on 110 straight plug-in, and it'll run off of the battery. Uh, the Milwaukee one that I've seen uh, will only run off the battery. Um, so this was pretty much the reason nobody else offered anything like this. Uh, so I wanted to give DeWalt a try, and uh, this set has been in the field for a little over a year now, and um, I've got some good things and some bad things. Uh, the Sawzall doesn't get used that much, had plenty of power when I needed it. Um, you know, it usually, if I'm going to need my Sawzall, I'm probably going to need the corded one, um, but this thing, you know, it, it did its job. It's been used several times. Uh, it's been dropped and, and all that good stuff, and it's held up just fine. Um, the impact driver uh, is very, very heavy duty. Um, I use this thing quite a bit, actually, and this thing will, it'll tighten the lug nuts on your car uh, or take them off, and uh, it'll do it in, in a hurry if you've got some battery um, to do it with. Uh, the impact driver, um, this is a great little tool, and it's one of my favorite little tools to use. Um, I had no issues with the motor or battery life or anything like that. What I had was uh, it did have a shaft in the middle in the middle here where it attaches uh, to the outside and attaches to the motor. That shaft broke. Uh, I was able to take it to a tool repair place. It was within warranty date standards from purchase date. However, DeWalt did not cover that. So strike one for DeWalt. Um, they said that it was just overused and uh, it, it wouldn't be covered. It's what the tool repair place had told me um, that I just used it too much or too hard and that that particular piece should not break. Hey, it did and DeWalt didn't cover it. Um, so that's kind of one strike against them. Other than that, you know, it's got plenty of power. It, it does whatever it needs to do. I had no problems with, uh, with power. It was just uh, getting that power to the end. And so this thing did let me down on the job. Um, so it's, it's okay, but it's not the best. Um, the drill driver, um, the original pack that was purchased was the, uh, the, the power pack that came with the Sawzall, the flashlight, the drill driver, and the impact driver. It was not this professional grade drill. It was the, just kind of the, the lower grade one. It had a plastic, um, keyless chuck and it was just light duty uh, that thing got burnt up after about six months um, it just it just fried it started smoking and then it just melted shut so that thing was done in toast I said okay you know hey maybe I'm pretty hard on stuff um, let's give him another shot I don't want to replace everything uh, that's kind of the problem when you get into these cordless tools is that and once you invest in it you know you start buying batteries uh, you, you've kind of got to, you're stuck with it. Um, so I went ahead and purchased this one. Now this is the DeWalt XRP uh, professional grade, industrial grade drill. It's got the, the metal clutch, keyless chuck, um, and it's it seemed to do pretty good for a while and it's kind of got this neat pistol grip back here uh, to where it keeps your hands, uh, it's a little bit different grip and uh, it, it keeps your hands away from the, the exhaust motors or the the exhaust right here the ventilation circulation for the motor uh, it's also a hammer drill the other one was not a hammer drill so we toasted one drill and now this one is having issues basically what it is is when you set this clutch to um, to straight drill meaning it should not have it shouldn't have any give it should either stop the motor or stop the drill or whatever if you hold this You can see that it's clutching, uh, and it's it's the clutch is slipping. Now I shouldn't be able to do that by hand. Uh, when I, I run a 
four and a half, or I mean a two and a half inch uh, hole saw on here, and um, you know I run that thing all the time through wood, metal, steel, everything, and it doesn't it doesn't really run that anymore. As soon as the teeth bite in, uh, it it stops, and there's no other higher setting to go on. Um, there's nothing to hook it up anymore. So that means that the clutch in here is toast. Uh, I'm at the point where Dewalt is just not handling um, the workload that I need it to. So as much as I like my vacuum, and I love my vacuum, I still really, really like this vacuum. Um, this vacuum is awesome. Uh, it, it picks up all kinds of stuff and uh, it works off a the battery right there um, and it does a great job I've had no issues with it uh, it just it picks everything up does a really nice job of cleaning things up makes my job really easy and I highly recommend the vacuum however the rest of the tools with the set um, are hit or miss uh, I, I really think that DeWalt is one of those companies that's depending on their branding uh, more than they're depending on actually building quality tools now um, you know, they got some cool uh, race cars and, and banners and they're pouring all this money into advertising. They're just not building tools that hold up anymore, uh, at least for me. This thing should, you know, this thing should be plenty of, plenty of power. And no matter what, the clutch, I know that the motor and the, the old NICAD 18 volt system doesn't have as much power as the new brushless and the lithium ion, but that's not what we have the issue with. We have the issue with the, with the gearing in here and with the slip clutch in here. Again, same thing with this. We had no problem with power or, or battery life. Um, we had problems with the, the method of how it was getting that power applied to the work area. Uh, so linkage is broke is basically what was going on. You got a clutch and a linkage and a motor toast. Um, so unfortunately, uh, I, I just don't want to invest any more in this particular brand or product, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over um, and get the Milwaukee drill driver or uh, the, the heavy duty 18 volt M series drill uh, with the new brushless motor and the 18 volt uh, lithium ion batteries. Um, it, it, I'll keep batteries for the stuff that I have, uh, but as things decline like this, uh, they're just, you know, they're, they're done, I'm done with them, uh, they just got to go. I could have this repaired and worked on again, but I don't have time to work on my tools. I need tools that are going to work. Uh, so as far as this particular set goes, it was not professional grade, uh, up to my standards of professional grade. Um, we'll see what the new Milwaukee does. And uh, now that they have a larger uh, supply of tools and a larger variety of tools and cordless tools, I'm going to be comfortable going with that because the original reason we went with this one was the variety of tools that DeWalt had. Uh, also, the battery packs, I wanted to go with the old school NICAD batteries uh, because they're, they're a lot cheaper to buy and a lot cheaper to maintain. I can have them rebuilt. The new batteries cannot be rebuilt, but it's where everything's headed. So if I'm going to start replacing tools and uh, you know I want the, the newest stuff, I'm going to have to, I'm forced to go switch over to that lithium ion setup and um, it, it is what it is. We'll see how expensive batteries are and we'll see how much they, you know, how long they last. Uh, but the motors are supposed to last longer and the batteries are supposed to last longer. So hopefully we can at least get a drill set up that's going to take the punishment and abuse that we're going to dish out to it and, and go from there. So vacuum's great, sawzall's great, impact gun is great, uh, drill not so much, and uh, drill driver not so much. So. Uh, for more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. Please click the subscribe button, and I will update all of the tools as they get used in the field. This is why this is, a, this is the kind of review that people need to see, because these tools went out and I worked with them for a year, and this is what happened after that. Anybody can take a brand new drill and compare it to another brand new drill and say, oh, these are both great, this one's had a little bit more power, this one doesn't. Um, you know, or we drove 17 holes with this one or, you know, and 15 with that one. None of that matters to me. I don't care if it drills less holes. I want it to drill holes for five years or more. Um, and, and this particular set did not do that. So click the subscribe bu button, check it out. I'll keep putting uh, updates up and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So have a good day.